Can I ask you what's going on here? Uh, we are demonstrating so that can tell our leaders uh, to get a more binding and more legal agreement in Durban. So we are trying to demonstrate and see whether they can influence what they come with from the from next week uh, decision. So we are young people from all over Africa trying to influence our world leaders' decisions next week as they come up with uh, a legal, a more legal and binding agreement in Durban. Where do you come from? I'm I'm from Kenya myself. And you came down with all these people together? Yeah, we came down with 161 young people from Kenya. Came down through Tanzania, Malawi, Botswana, Zambia, and now we are in Durban trying to tell them this is our future. Our future is here today. They need to get us a more legal and binding agreement which secures humanity and secures our future. It is our young children who will be affected, I'll be affected, but they, they won't be affected because they are old people. We need to secure the young people's future. How will you be affected? It will be affected because right now, for the first time, Africa gets climate refugees. For the first time, Africa is facing climate refugees. There are people are dying in Africa all over. So if they don't act now, then it will be impossible for us to live for the next couple of years. Even our children in future will be impossible for them to live. Tell me about the climate refugees. The climate refugees uh, came about from the Horn of Africa due to drought and famine. So uh, these are impacts of climate change because drought is a source of uh, it's an impact of it's an impact of climate change in Africa. So that's why we had the climate refugees in Africa for the first time in the Horn of Africa. About a million people were dying due to hunger and due to famine. What was the experience like coming down with all these people from Kenya? The experience was first of all devastating because you could see the effects of climate change themselves. Uh, forests are being cut down by people. That's one of the effects of climate change. And we're telling people not to cut down trees. But also uh, for the policy issues, uh, governments need to come up with policies that secure our future, secure us humanity and secure us the young people in future. I mean, it was kind of a good experience to try and pass the message of climate change to the young people and the people all over Africa. But here we are in Durban, trying to tell our world leaders we need a more and legally binding agreement to secure humanity and secure our future as young people. Have you been in Durban all week? Yeah, we have been in Durban the whole week. We have been in Durban since uh, 21st, that's uh, last week on Monday. We have been trying to do concerts all around and we had a bigger concert uh, on the 27th at the Kings Park Stadium, which was graced by uh, His Excellency the Desmond Tutu. And we re he received 300,000 and more petitions from us that we collected all over Africa. So we have been here trying to uh, make awareness to people to uh, come up and stand up and say we need a future, we need a more, a more secure future, we need a more legally binding agreement in Durban. And what are you going to be doing next week? Uh, uh, unfortunately, we are, we are going to be leaving tomorrow. That's why we are trying as much as possible to see that what we do today, demo, the, what we demonstrate today will affect what comes out next week. But some of us will be left behind and they'll be doing flash mobs inside the ICC center. And what will, be, what will you be doing back in your home countries? As you go back, you're going back to the caravan also. As you go back, you're going to make awareness also. But then, when you go back to different countries, telling people to come up with projects that address climate change issues. We hope that one of the deals that we're going to get in Durban is climate finance, which will help us as Africa to mitigate and adapt to climate change. Can you give me an example of a type of project? A type of project we have, uh, one of the biggest projects uh, in the world on CDM is, is now in Kenya, where we're trying to address red plus and, and issues of uh, afforestation. It's one of the best projects, but also in terms of community-based adaptation, we have projects like uh, uh, water harvesting, which is very simple, but also affects us so much. In Garissa, in Kenya, I myself am working on a project that addresses climate change issues, that uh, includes water harvesting and includes uh, uh, securing water uh, water uh, resources. How does that work? Uh, this works in the sense that when it rains, then the water that comes down, we harvest all of it in, the, in a dam. Then the second step involves uh, treating that water and uh, purification of that water through uh, the stages that we have uh, the sand and then we purify it and then we treat it and then people can, be, can use it even when there is shredded of water and when there is famine.
And will the climate finance deal here in Durban help that project? Yeah, it will. Ha it will help that project because one of the best, one of the issues that we are undergoing right now with that project is uh, lack of resources in terms of lack of funds to upscale the project. So climate finance will help that project in the sense that we're going to upscale it and it can be used even in a wider area. Because right now we are addressing like around 10,000 people, but we need to address more and we need to upscale it, uh, upscale it up uh, so that we can get to address more people and uh, to help more people. Thank you very much. You're welcome.